this morning, the Association of the U.S. Army Global Force Symposium and Exhibition gets underway at Huntsville's Von Braun Center. It's an event that has one purpose, and that's to support the U.S. Army in its mission, which of course means supporting soldiers. And that's where we find News 19's Steve Johnson this morning. Steve, how's it going? It is going well, and let me tell you something. We've talked about a lot of things, but no company has cooler uh, develop projects in development and projects already in the field than Aero Environment. Phil Rottenborn, okay, very quickly, you wanted to make sure we showed that, which is your, Absolutely. your competition, your competitive model. Yes, yeah, so, th so the Army has directed a requirement for a company small UAS, small means less than 55 pounds gross takeoff weight, and we at Air Environment, you'll see it across our platforms, we like to provide flying trucks. Yeah. So whatever the Army wants to put on it, whether it's armed with kinetics like that, with the Switchblade 300. No, kinetic, that's, that's a weapon. That is a weapon. Okay. Yeah, or a, a surveillance okay. or reconnaissance payload. We provide the platform, the Army tells us what they want on it, and we provide that. Okay, and you've been in business 53 years with uncrewed vehicles. Let's, that's I'll right. step over here because don't know that this will ever be in the air but this is really neat. Oh, this is, uh, what, what would you call this? So this is a high altitude pseudo satellite or HAPS as we call it. And I assure you it'll be in the air again this summer. Okay. So this is about the size of a football field and can carry 150 pounds of whatever you need it to. It's solar powered, it flies in the stratosphere. It can provide 5G or reconnaissance surveillance. Okay, what and how long mean? can this stay in the air once it's launched? Six months. Six months. You bet. And this is in development. All right, we've sold, seen a couple of things you're working on. Let's go see something that's already out there and you said these systems we're about to see have been uh, proven in uh, conflicts we've been in and they're being used in Ukraine right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. These, these are combat proven switchblades systems. These are loitering munitions. Uh, Air environment yeah. uh, basically invented this category about a dozen or so years ago. Okay. We've produced over 6,000 of these. Uh, this is the 300 model. It's about 11 pounds. That's the 600 model which is an anti-tank version. Uh, it can fly for up to about an hour. So when you say loitering, you mean it can hang out above a battlefield looking for a target of opportunity? That's right. Uh, generally, they, they know exactly what target they're going after before okay. they launch it, but the camera will allow that soldier to identify that one more time and approach it at a, at a certain angle and then uh, engage the enemy. So, so uh, of course, you're at the company, but these, these, I would have bet, are pretty effective. They are highly effective, and these make up are part of the 11 systems that we have now uh, in use in Ukraine today. Okay, and everything we're using in Ukraine is stuff, our equipment that's used by the U.S. military. Yes, uh, by DOD in, in some manner or another. The, the U.S. Army is now procuring the Switchblade 600s. Okay. okay, so you guys are here obviously to show off your wares, what you're working on, and, and just remind everybody what you're already doing. But, but, but how big a deal is it to be at something like the AUSA? So we, we circle this one on our calendar every year because we've been partnered with the Huntsville community, this exceptional Redstone Arsenal team, for decades, uh, having provided Ravens and Pumas um, across DOD. Uh, Raven was one of the first UASs uh, in the Army. And, uh, Unmanned aerial system. That, that's correct. That's <laughs> correct. You got it. Okay. Well, that's it. That's it. You've been around for a while. Uh, I'm assuming that just the work you're doing, that there's no, to be punny here, there's no ceiling to what can be done. Oh, absolutely not. Systems. Autonomy, artificial intelligence, those are all things that we're developing in our new okay. products. And we look forward to rolling out and talking to the, to the Redstone community about this week. All right, Phil, thank you. Thank and you. Of course, there, there are more high-tech uh, things here, things to talk about. Of course, all of it is to support the Army and keep the warfighters safe. Steve Johnson live at the Von Brown Center. Back to you.